In this first things to do while camping video, I will demonstrate the art of carving. Well, you know, when you're RVing, you can only do so many projects. At some point you have to have some leisure activities and this is something that I started doing about a year ago and so the first one I did was a little bear here now I'm not an expert by any means and I got the idea from a tutorial by a guy named Doug Linker that has YouTube videos and I'll post a link here I don't really know Doug I've never corresponded with him he had a nice tutorial and uh, that's how I learned how to do this the second one I did was this Keystone Cop, and he actually had a cowboy hat to start with, and then I came back later and reshaped the hat. And you can see this really wasn't done that well because it was pretty square. The third one it got a little better. This is the robber. Of course, if you're going to have a cop, you need a robber. Then I did the pizza guy. Then I think the next one was Mr. Bill. And of course, if you have Mr. Bill, you have to have Sluggo. And this is probably my favorite one. This is a shark. And, you know, I like to kind of have characters that people can identify. And if you've ever seen a YouTube video called Sack Squatch, this is my rendition of that. This guy he dresses up as Bigfoot and plays the saxophone in the woods. <laughs> All right, then we have, of course, Frankenstein. And you may not recognize this guy. This is the robot from uh, the day the Earth is still, the original version. And then, uh, of course, this is an alien and a Mr. Potato Head. So I told my wife I wanted a set of knives for Christmas about a year ago. And so she bought me this beginner set. And these are made by Flex Cut. And they work pretty good. And they are made in the U.S. But the thing I don't like about them is they're almost too small for my hands because I have big hands. And it came with a couple of cutters and a couple of gouges. The best wood carving knives that you can get are made by Helvi, H-E-L-V-I-E. However, they're handmade and only a few are made each year and they're almost impossible to obtain. A close second are OCC tools, also made in the U.S. And that's what I end up buying and I've been very happy with those. And they're around $25 a piece. Now you can spend a ton of money on knives. Most people go out and overbuy like I did and it really isn't necessary. So start out with a couple good knives, a large blade and a small blade. And what's going to happen over time is you're going to develop your own style and by developing your own style you're going to have your own knife requirement. And then I uh, bought a nice set of gouges and the gouges, I like to use those as well. And I'll post a link in the description where you can obtain these. And again, I consider myself a novice. I'm just going to show you kind of an overview to kind of get you interested. And then if you are, I recommend you going to Doug Linker's website because he has step-by-step -step tutorials and he's going to give you a lot more information than I can. The first thing you need is a sharp knife for two reasons. First, to maintain control so you don't slip and cut yourself. And second, to make a good cut. I sharpen my knives often using a strop, which is a piece of leather glued to a piece of wood. I strop at the beginning of the project and about every 15 minutes worth of cutting. I never use any kind of a whetstone or grinding tool on my knives as they come sharp enough from the factory and I keep them sharp using a leather strop. And it's just a matter of going back and forth like this. And one thing Doug recommends, and I do too, is at least when you're starting out, go out and buy a glove. And this is a kind of a chain mail glove, and you know, you're not going to cut yourself. But I've been doing this for about a year, and I don't need the glove no more because I've developed a technique so that I don't cut myself. And this is a penguin that I'm going to make, and I'm kind of making this for my oldest son. You know, some of you may know he passed away about six months ago, and his favorite was penguins, so I'm going to kind of make this for him. So I've uh, just outlined the penguin, 
and kind of put a little mark across all four sides to differentiate the head. And so you see, when I make this cut, I'm pushing with my thumb. And I don't have any part of my body in the way in case I slip. And then when I come back, then I will put my thumb down here out of the way. And come back like this. Now this is basswood. And basswood is soft enough to cut easily, but hard enough that it's not kind of mushy. And so you see this is kind of the way I make most of my cuts. And what I really want to do, first off, is I kind of want to make this relief around, so I'm going to cut into that. Now one thing when you carve, I don't use any sandpaper because I think that just takes away from it. And when you carve, you're going to have carve marks. And the last color of paint is black, and that's going to cover half of it. And this is the completed project. And again, I did not do a step-by-step -step because there are better tutorials on YouTube than I can show you. And the purpose of this video is just to introduce you to the art of wood carving. Visit rv-project.com.